You've got some AI text that sounds way too robotic and has even been flagged by AI detectors. Well, I know this feeling personally because it's been three years that I've used this tool called LLMs and I've learned to make them sound way more human. In this video, I'm going to share with you my five biggest strategies to humanize your AI text. And it's going to be my job here to apply these five strategies to make sure that an AI sample I've just generated gets a 100% human score on AI detector. So listen closely and follow all these five tips so that at the end of this video, your text sounds 100% human. Ready? Let's go. Strategy number one, add your own input. So before presenting my first strategy, I want to show you the AI piece of text we're going to be working on on this video. So to make sure that at the end, it gets 100% a score as human on AI detectors. And this piece of text is here. It's this one, as you can see here. I just generated it with ChatGPT 5. So it's an article about collaborative robots. So it's a very specific types of industrial robots. And as you can see, it really sounds like a basic piece of AI. So for example, here, the ideas are very generic. You won't get a really unique and original and fresh ideas about the subject. It's very well known the applications, the benefits. Uh, it doesn't get past that. There's also all the AI tropes and the patterns that you can find. For example, there's a lot of marketing words, what I call marketing words, and expression fooled by advances. Yeah, that's a bit too much hyperbolic. And as you can see here on GPT-0, which will be the AI detector I'm going to use here, it gets definitely 100% AI score. And we're going to make sure to humanize it. My first big tip here doesn't start from the editing process but rather before the generation process. And for this, you need to know how LMs work. LMs are designed to predict the most likely words or sequence of words. That means if you give it a simple prompt, you just get the most likely output from this prompt. And everybody will get somehow the same kind of output. The shorter the prompt and the less information it has, and the most likely will be that you'll get a lot of very AI common patterns into your writing like here. So the simple solution here, you got it. It's actually to add more information into your prompt. To enrich your prompt, what I call basically an outline. So you want to outline your piece of text first before generating section by section. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, we're going to go to here and I'm going to ask it to write an outline about an article about collaborative robots based on this outline that I'm going to give. So Let's go. Of course, what are collaborative robots? Now, what's the impact of collaborative, collaborative robots into the manufacturing plants? So to make it more concrete than just why use collaborative robots, what are the most popular cobot application in industrial settings? And then we can get into more specialized stuff, like for example, what's the adop adoption rate of, rob of cobots in the industry? And even how can you implement cobot with success? with success in your manufacturing plants. So all, all this perspective into this article are actually things that people are expecting online. And I know people are really into this stuff online. And you have to know which kind of audience you want to address and what are the issue and pain points. And you want to address them. And that's what you want to do and put into your prompt. And to get even further, you can even add subsections and of course, information, personal experience, studies, facts uh, that you found online or something else into all of the subsections. But that's also one thing you can do that gets the job easier. And it is simply to use the search or even the research feature to extract the information on the internet. And for that, I have to say, ChatGPT 5 is the best. Uh, you really get a lot of information from just the search or research feature from ChatGPT. So let's go, let's, let's just use it. And as you can see here, I get a very comprehensive outline of all the information based on my own outline that exists on this subject. And then I can just get uh, this detailed information uh, section by section by generating uh, step by step. So let's go, let's generate uh, the first. So that will be the second one, section two. And I'm even gonna keep the search feature on so it gets even more information for each section. So what we get here, as you can see, it's very detailed, there's a lot of information, maybe even too much. And another thing here is that it doesn't sound much like an article here. It's more like bullet points, one after another. And so what you want here is to give even more information into your prompt 
by giving a style guideline of what you really want. Here, I'm going to use a prompt template of style guideline that you can find easily on my TEL Prompt Manager Chrome extension. Uh, with a lot of prompts, you can just copy, paste, and click and apply. That's really nice. And um, we're going to use this one. And you're just going to have to tell it what you want it to be and what role you want it to play. So I'm going to tell it that it's an SEO experience content writer. All right. Audience of, audience of manufacturers who want to improve the production line. I'm going to keep this part and then okay and i'm going to tell it always follow these guidelines when writing the sections i'm going to remove the search and let's see as you can see there's a lot of information now i didn't even put some part of some section because it was just too much and a bit repetitive so let's see so yeah it gets 100 percent ai and that's completely normal because you didn't change that much at the output but it's actually better than starting from nothing and you're going to see, we're going to do some adjustment and you're going to be definitely 100% human after the four other strategy I'm going to apply now. But it's already a good start, especially for human readers. This article is already way more natural than just generating a blend output. Strategy number two, removing the repetition. All right, so you might already realize that, but the AI is also really good at repeating stuff. And so, yeah, you really want, you want to remove all of the phrases and sentences that don't add much to the debate or the subject. And that's what we're going to do here. We're just going to clean the stuff. Let's start with the introduction that is usually way too long um, than a human article would. All right, let's go as a manufacturer. Okay, let's go like this. Let's skip this. So that's already revealing too much of the subject. You learn what makes a robot collaborative and can change your manufacturing plan. All right, we don't need all of the other stuff. We just need three sentences for introduction. That's way enough. Same here, the introduction of each section, usually we already talk about the main content. So you can usually remove this introduction or really or try to short them. I just remove it. I think it doesn't add much. Let's just keep the definition and then how they differ. And the four collaborative robots models, okay. And that's it. You just don't need that much information. Same here. I'm just going to keep this. So we're going to remove the, the references in here. Same thing. All right. So somewhere to the point. And the last part. All right. Here it's already way much cleaner. There's not too much repetition. And yeah, we can already work on that. Let's see what it looks like now. As you see, it's already a bit human. So there's some progress going on. See how we can improve that. Number three minimize AI expressions. When LLMs are generating a piece of writing, they usually leave behind a lot of traces and patterns that you can easily spot. And that's what I call AI expression. These AI expression or patterns, I actually describe them extensively in this article about the default ChatGPT writing style, uh, where you can find a lot of information already about it. But yeah, actually there's some very specific patterns that you can remove and we get uh, way easier chance that you won't be detected as AI uh, by an AI detector or just by a human reader. And uh, some of them are quite well known, especially the M dashes. So you have a lot of M dashes or sentences based on M dashes. Same for uh, what uh, we call tri columns, that is presenting an idea in three steps. For example, I own my skill in research, collaboration, and problem solving. Uh, my passion grew from curiosity to exploration to mastery. So it's always free uh, in three times. And yeah, there's a lot of things like that. Uh, we're going to see it on the other sample. One other thing also that is really well known. It's not only, but also that's really very frequent. And uh, yeah, you also want to minimize that. Uh, one other thing that I already move is the way that ChatGPT loves to open on or conclude an argument. He loves to, yeah, to do a lot of introduction about one stuff. It's always a lot of repetition and you want to minimize that too. All right, let's get back now to this piece of writing and just try to remove all of the very specific AI expression and patterns formulations that ChatGPT use. As, as you can see on the introduction already, you have the tricolon, improve efficiency, reduce cost and maintain high quality. All right, that's free. Here also it's free. I'm just going to keep a small stand. Here also uh, it's a tricolon. How the same right it effect are repeats the job consistently even here. So that's the free here. So what I'm going to do is just and finally uh, and eventually I'm going to add a, another sequence also train on the application. You see also there's a lot of semicolons variation, but especially growth driven 
especially today and where it's heading so yeah there's a lot of, of things we can improve here also i'm just gonna fix that for example by just adding a point rather than a semicolon for the not only but also a famous pattern of ChatGPT. um there's not a lot of example here because i already removed them uh, before in the repetition the thing here is also that it based on ChatGPT 5 and ChatGPT 5 is still a new model and has its own peculiarities. My article was especially about ChatGPT 4.0, but as you will see, we're also going to remove the very specific pattern of ChatGPT. And usually it's about making very short sentences with a lot of information. It's very dense, but also it makes it very abstract. And we're going to try to remove and improve uh, these phrases. One very obvious example is especially the end of the article look at this start with conservative spell run test part monitor for collision tune path that doesn't make any sense it's like way too dense and so that's this kind of sentences you want to remove or at least minimize in the writing and that's what we're going to do in the bullet points we're going to put actual phrases all right so i put phrases here and i'm going to do the same for all the bullet points here or at least without taking also too much time all right now we have actual phrases for each bullet point I'm going to try to do it for the other bullet points. I think definitely this section is way too AI for sure. I think it doesn't add much value. So I'm just going to remove it. And um, for your case, if you're writing an article, I advise you to regenerate it. But the rest, I'm going to keep it. One other trick here to get even more improvement is to add what I call opinionated expressions. I'm going to give you an example here. It says more conservative, but solid growth. But it seems to get solid growth. As you can see, I'm trying to add more personal stuff, more active and determined voice into this specific piece of text. Because LLMs like ChatGPT, they love to be very passive and undetermined in their voice. We don't really know who is speaking there because yeah, um, LLMs like to have a very formal and unpersonal voice. And you want to add personality for sure. Let's add some second person voice into the introduction, for example. In your production processes can become a powerful asset to increase your output and profitability can impact let's add some you and yours a bit everywhere into the sections to repeat your job consistently i don't remove this one it's just a repetition it makes sure it stops you don't want it to harm you of course you don't have to add this everywhere but just in some small parts so that it breaks the patterns of uh, the AI writing. Can hurt your throughput or co business and economic damage. And you don't want that. That's definitely a pressing question for any manufacturer. So below is a realistic view where it's definitely the biggest market and highest growing. You might have seen this. But I'm dying I'll to deal with those. So you definitely want to improve this process. We already did a lot of editing. Am I editing? Let's, let's see now what we get. Well, it's a bit weird. It should be higher, but I think I know why it happens. I think it's just because of the number and the name of all the sections. I think if I remove them, it's usually a good sub suspect. Gets you in the way. So let's just do this. All right. This and like this. So now we just remove the number of the sections. We we'll just keep them like this and let's check. And as you can see now, it's more likely that it's human so yeah sometimes it's some weird stuff uh, especially with ai detectors uh but we're also writing for human readers so it's about humanizing for ai detectors and human readers and definitely yeah i think we have the best mix of both strategy number four replace the ai vocabulary i also have a whole article about this subject which is the most overused ChatGPT words and yeah that's also a big thing ChatGPT loves to do some kind of specific phrasing, but also to use some specific words and vocabulary. And that specifically comes from the training process of ChatGPT. Usually the human writer, a reviewer and trainers, they can be from other countries. And for the case of ChatGPT, I think some of them come from South Africa and Nigeria. Some of their vocabulary specific from there can ref be reflected in the output of ChatGPT. And so you have words like delve into, uh, you might know, it's important to, crucial, vital, things like that. Explore, honest, leverage, some very specific expression also. In today's fast-paced world, 
uh, revolutionizing, uh, navigate the landscape of, let's face it, the truth is. So yeah, there's some phrases that definitely AI and you want to replace them to be sure that people are not like, okay, that's AI. Or also, of course, to decrease the chances that AI detectors will think it's AI. So let's go, let's remove some of this specific vocabulary and replace it with more technical or concrete vocabulary. For example, a powerful asset, maybe let's just call it a powerful system to increase your output and profitability. I think I just just cost, I just remove that. I think it's, it's good to maintain. It's in there, it's efficiency. Rather than trade, substitute, advanced vision systems, vision computing systems, object alignments, defending, defecting, detecting specific technology, rather than rising, increasing fast deployments, rather than initiatives, tooling machines. Let's, let's see now. Yeah, it gets even more human, I think, than before. It will definitely pass through AI detector easily. And definitely, if I read that, it will sound way more human than AI for me. Number five, using AI Humanizer. The last year, some tools called AI Humanizer have emerged on the market to help writers, students, to humanize their AI text. They are actually altering your text with algorithmic technique so that it's less likely that you'll be detected by AI detectors. It's a bit like a cat and mouse chase uh, between AI detectors and AI humanizer. AI detectors are trained to detect between human and AI, and AI humanizers are trained to bypass the filters of AI detectors. So does it really work? Well, it's complicated because if I put this text um, into self writer, which is one of the most uh, famous AI humanizer, I get something completely different. So if I put it on GPT-0, as you can see, it's even more human. It's 99% human, but it changed all my phrasing and all my ideas completely. It does uh, what I did just before uh, by adding some opinionated expression in some of my sentences, but it does it everywhere. So you as a manufacturer always face pressure to become efficient, a formula system. So it's just a change of everything about your article. So sometimes it can work, but sometimes it can be a bit messy and add way more noise than you have uh, beforehand. And so, yeah, you have to be aware of that. If you're really focused on bypassing AI detectors, I think it could be a smart move to use them and then just try to edit all the noise that can be added after. But if you really want just to focus on not sounding a uh, way to AI, for average human readers, I think you should do it manually and not necessarily use these tools because yeah, sometimes it's just too much and you don't get much from it. It's just sometimes just some added noise. And I said now I almost achieved what I wanted to do, which is try to make an AI text score 100% human score. Now it was 99% with the AI humanizer. But yeah, with this technique on your hands now, I think they're gonna help you uh, humanize your AI text way better. Otherwise, I hope you found my tips helpful. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, or even comment on the video if you have any question about this process. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.